Once your Cronus Max Plus is connected and authorized with your console, you will then need to connect your device to your PC through the PC program port located on the side of the unit. You will then need to open the Cronus Pro software suite, go into the plugins menu, and select XAIM. Once in XAIM, you'll need to go into the file tab, select new empty layout, and name it whatever you like. Next, you'll need to go into the Layout Options tab and choose your controller. In order to set your controls, you'll just need to right-click on the button you wish to set, select the type of input command, and then press the desired button when prompted. From here I'll continue setting up the rest of the layout. You can set this up as you choose. Once you are happy with your layout, you will then need to go back into the Layout Options tab and select Mouse Settings. The first thing that will need to be changed is your mouse DPI. This must be matched to the DPI that your mouse is programmed to. You can usually open the software that came with your mouse to check the DPI and set it correctly in XAIM. Here you can see that I'm using 1600 DPI so I'll need to match this over. Next you'll need to navigate to the user submitted mouse settings section on the forums and find the game and console of your choice. For this video I'll be using the Xbox One Battlefield 4 setup. You'll want to copy the mouse settings that are posted in the screenshot exactly into your XAIM layout. After verifying everything is correct, you can close the window and enter capture mode. You may want to open the device monitor first so you can check that your inputs are correct. Once in capture mode, your device will begin forwarding the signals of your mouse and keyboard over to your console. 